Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and let's continue our JavaScript journey. Now in this particular video, I will not be writing any code. I just wanted to give you a few points and how we are going to move forward in this JavaScript series. So when I was making this JavaScript series, you obviously know that eventually we actually moved and we took a path which is not usually taken by the JavaScript courses. It's usually like create an HTML file, create a JavaScript file, attach the both of them, and just create a pop-up. It's a usual approach. It's not like this is a wrong approach. This is completely fine. But here we took an extraordinary approach of moving node and try to look at the JavaScript in a way that nobody has actually taken a look in this way. So I hope we were able to catch it up so far. Now, when I was designing this entire curriculum, I reached at this point when I was writing all these things, and it took it got me that how we should move from this point onward now this is the point where we move forward into two directions actually both of them are true and both of them are correct it's not like one is wrong way another is a right way both of them are correct so what are these two ways now right now you are at a position that you can design any application in simple and regular javascript so the option is one we can have a web-based interface uh, probably like a web page and can attach some of the files create to do applications or anything like that or there is another approach that we can take which is moving towards the advanced javascript stuff like what is iterators generators arrow functions uh, some syntactic sugar in the objects and stuff like that so obviously you feel free to just move on to any part wherever you like I have decided that I'm going to be moving into the part of advanced JavaScript so that first we can uh, learn all those concepts. There's a lot that we can do nowadays in JavaScript. Obviously, you have seen that in the very first video. So now, as the series will progress, we are going to move into the advanced part of the JavaScript and then probably we'll move on later on about building the application and stuff. In case you want to just right now go ahead, explore the libraries or build application on the web right now, you can surely do that. But with this series, we will be moving into the advanced part. The advantage of having the advanced part right now is you will be able to get or you will be much more comfortable in the applications like Node, uh, Angular or React, Electron or anything that has a JavaScript framework modern one, then surely you will feel much more comfortable from this point onward. So far, we have hit the basics. That's it. We are not going to be talking about how to loop over an array or how to write a basic function. We are going to move into advanced part. That is actually much more fun and actually creates a rock solid JavaScript, not like the previous one, which you are pretty much aware of the web. This is going to get interesting now, right now. Okay, so now that you are clear about what is going to be the future plan with this series, I think it's a good point then we, that we move into all these advanced stuff in the next video. So that's it. Let's just go ahead, catch you up in the next video. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe on my YouTube channel as well as visit learncodeonline.in. There is so much amazing stuff going on there. So catch you up in the next video.